Hey guys, so sorry I look like a mess. I've just been getting ready for the vacation that I am taking. I'm leaving for two weeks and uh, I have just been getting ready for the past a uh, couple days nonstop straight. Uh, I'm out of breath right now because it's so hot and muggy in my garage and I have literally just been putting these seat covers on that's taking forever and I did not know that these seat covers were going to be a pain in my butt especially the back bench seat ones because I have to like I have to pull these like cords through and then tighten them on the other side and it's like I gotta really shove my hand down underneath the seats and I had to take all this stuff out of my like trunk area in order to reach down in there and pull these cords and I'm still working on it but oh my gosh it's so hot and muggy because it's been raining here in Arizona. Drop my dog off at the kennel. So the pet resort that I took my dog to uh, the kennel um, it was called Sabino Canyon Pet Resort and it looked really nice. Uh, they had a pool outside in the shape of a dog bone that you could pay extra to let your dog go swimming for. You could pay extra for cuddle time, you can pay extra for playtime and one-on-one -on -one sessions and like all this other stuff and ice cream for the dogs and it looks like a really nice place. So Sabino Canyon Pet Resort. Let me just show you guys a little bit about how my mother and I are getting ready. So my mom already has her stuff packed. There's some more stuff we're taking over there. Um, she's got her bread container. Uh, we have like a separate shower bag for both of us so it wouldn't take up luggage space in our bags. So getting our cooler ready. This thing is seriously gigantic. I am working on my backseat cushions. Let me put my drink down somewhere. Uh, so far, um, I got one side of my seat cushions done. Um, if you can tell, um, there's like this little loop that has to go around. And this is the back, of course. I had to take pieces of my trunk out in order to start getting this situated. I already got the bench seat part in. My mom put towels on the floor because um, when I was waiting for my floor mats, my floor mats came, but they were the wrong style that I ordered. Nothing at all similar to like what I had ordered from Amazon. So I returned them. So right now we just have towels on the floor to keep the floor safe because this is a new to me car. So um, this is a whole separate piece. This is a whole separate piece. And there are zippers. So like when you have the split bench, you can choose, there's three different zippers in the middle there. You can choose to uh, um, convert them and there's this extra like black pieces that you could stick on the side so it doesn't come just undone. Literally sweating my ass off trying to get that taken care of. These were one piece, except all of the um, head cushion parts are, all of these parts are uh, separate. You can see. My mother likes to turn the headrests around because she doesn't like the one that puts your head like forward. So it's really nice because you can just take it out, leave this on, and just turn it around so it's pretty convertible. But other than that, it's coming along. You know, I just have to spend all my time in my car. I'm gonna miss you. It's a lot. Not sponsored, but seriously, pink drink is the best. So refreshing. I love the pink drink. I'm gonna be driving tonight first. So I have to get some sleep. But we estimate that we're probably gonna leave my house around midnight which is fine. I drive to at least three or four. It's three or four hours closer to our destination and our first stop is Memphis. That is where I'm going to meet um, my longtime internet friend of at least five years. First stop is Memphis and then the next day Cherokee, North Carolina and then the next day Hidden North Carolina which is where we're going to do all of our creaking and gemstone hunting at. And then after that, after that, we're going to go to Nags Head, North Carolina. And then after that, we're going to head north um, in the Virginia area. There's a place called Assateague Island, and there are wild horses that roam free there. After Assateague Island, we're gonna um, just head straight to Ohio for a few days, and then we're gonna head back home. We're gonna stop in Kansas on the way home because my mother wants to go to the Oz Winery because she is a huge Wizard of Oz fan. So I'm finally gonna get to meet my friend, and we've been talking about it for um, a couple months now. So I was like, you know what? I'm going on a vacation anyway. We're going to pass right through Memphis, so why don't you meet us over there? He lives like an hour away from Memphis, and he was like, you know what? Great. <clears throat> I might do a part one and part two of a travel video. I am going to end this part of the video right here, so I can go finish what I'm doing and get some sleep before I go on my trip. <laughs> That's not how you start a story. <laughs> Good morning, lovely people. It is, I don't know, what time do you think it is? Too early. Probably <laughs> six in the morning. And we're in New Mexico right now, and the moon is still out, and um, we had to take a potty break right outside the car, both of us. <laughs> I peed by the front tire, and she peed by the back tire. On the same side, but of course at different times. <laughs> I didn't sleep at all, but mom slept a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I went and peed first. 
and uh, I I guess uh, since the ground is just hard dirt, uh, we both actually ended up peeing on our own feet. Because it's splattered. <laughs> because it's splattered. <laughs> no, our ankles. <laughs> it splattered on our ankles, and uh, my shoe got a little bit wet, my flip-flop, and that's unfortunate. So our excuse for everything is because we peed on ourselves. So if my foot hurts, it's because I peed on it. <laughs> But what we drive? We only drove like uh, three, three hours, three and a half sleep. hours, and then I didn't sleep. But mom slept like probably an hour. So that's that's it, right? That's it. Yeah. And now we're gonna drive all day today, and hopefully get to Memphis by tomorrow morning. So everybody smokes pot. Yeah. It is. It's just, I don't know. What you? What kind of drugs did you do as a hippie? I only did that once or twice. I didn't really like them. Mom and I just entered Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we are just uh, stopped right now to stretch our legs and um, just walk around. She's down there. So peaceful, so quiet, beautiful. You can hear the river. Um, but yeah, so that's just kind of a little update. Yesterday we were in Memphis and we met my friend Jason. Oh my God, it's so steep right here. Please don't fall. Oh my goodness. She's already all the way down there. Oh my lord. I got bad knees. <laughs> I want to move here so bad. Gatlinburg is beautiful. Pigeon Forge is also beautiful. Oh! I hate bugs! <laughs> It flew in my ear. My legs are already on fire.
that's how out of shape I am. My legs are already on fire. <laughs> No. <laughs> Have you had enough? I said, Have you had enough? See the sweat huh? glistening on my face. No, this is not highlighter, this is sweat. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm not sweating yet. My heart's just pounding. So mom and I are at Mingo Falls. You wanna sit down for a second? No. Go. Okay. I'm good. What, there's like over a hundred steps or something? Yeah, I think so. We'll count them on the way back down because I don't really remember. I don't know how to record. Bullshit. You are recording! It's the red button! Everybody knows it's the red button! I don't. What were you going to show me? Some kind of dance or something? No. <laughs> yeah. This feels so nice on my feet. Oh my god. Why is this like our first time in, to the beach in like, I don't know, first, six my years? First time since 05. Beach. Does Cedar Point count? <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, mom, look, there's a crab. There's a little crab. A what? 
Stop, there's a little crab right there. Right there. Oh, there's a crab. Oh, how cute. He's looking at you. He's trying to run away. Run, 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 run. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We must be blinding him. I have a video. That is so cool. <gasps> oh, that was huge! <laughs> oh, how cool. Oh, yeah. Shh, you're gonna chase him in! I'm coming to get you! <laughs> Always in the sun, but no one's sun is ever in me. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I understand that. Wow, look at him. He must be eating because he has his claws going in his mouth. They're adorable. That is so cool. Yeah. Oh, that was actually really close.
Gaggle of geese. Jesus. So many. You need to buy a ticket. Thank you for coming. Have a great day. You're welcome. Thank you. 
completed a fantasy world which was grounded in the world of the second years of children's literature and was inspired by the women. It's about American politics and American dreams and hopes and American work. I'm involved in the politics of the Seven of her films on the DVD. So if you buy The Wizard of Oz, Mr. Brady, and St. Louis, several others, and get my voice under the whole film. I have been asked to speak about Oz everywhere from the Museum of Modern Art in New York to the Motion Picture Academy in LA to the Deville Film Festival in France. Over all these years and all these projects, uh, I've got to know Barbara Campbell. Ooh, so spooky. I can't really get a picture of that. Turn your flash on. You want my flash on? Yeah. <gasps> I'm scared. That's Glenda.
American. It started at Grant Park in Chicago and ended on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles, a few steps away from the Pacific Ocean. It was the most famous highway in America. It's going to be Phillips 66, and it was. The Phillips 66 signs are still out on old Route 66. You're the piss out of me. didn't get to include in the video so I guess to start the itinerary for the trip was to leave from here in Arizona we drove straight to Memphis and it took like 20 hours to get there after that the next day we were in Cherokee North Carolina and then we went to Hittonite North Carolina to do some creaking and Cherokee was where we went to Mingle Falls so after Hittonite we went to uh, Nags Head which is in the Outer Banks so it's I loved it there. I would so totally move to Nags Head, North Carolina, or the Outer Banks, North Carolina, or... So here's my dog. And then after Nags Head, we went up to Assateague Island, and there are actually two parts to Assateague Island. There is the Virginia side and the Maryland side. We went to the Virginia side first, and there were no, like, horses that you could see close up. I'm sorry, I am sick. So we went to the Maryland side after we went to the Virginia side and it's not sh like you can't just go straight up 
on Assateague Island, there's not a road that goes all the way through, unfortunately. So the Maryland side was so cool. And the one horse that walked right by the girl, it was so amazing. I was so jealous. I was like, man, why couldn't that happen to me? Nothing cool ever happens to me. But I definitely recommend the Maryland side of Assateague Island because that is where you'll see all the horses. But they were so close enough you could pet them. After that, we just went to Ohio. Had 4th of July in Ohio. I got to see my friends every 4th of July weekend. There's a place in Ohio, it's called Mesopotamia, and they have the Mesopotamia Ox Roast. I have two clips in there uh, with the um, the uh, meat turning on the fi over the fire, and it's so cool. It's like an hour drive from Akron. And then actually the day before that, we actually went to the Hartville Flea Market, which I love. And I actually ended up getting some um, political hats and flags for super cheap. I got to watch fireworks and walk around my old neighborhood where I grew up with um, my friend who grew up down the street from me. And I got to spend time with his, him and his mom. I had dinner one night with my friends. I had breakfast the morning that I left Ohio. My friends really make me miss Ohio. I missed the trees and the grass and the water. I really miss the East. And I would love to live in the Carolinas because that's where it's at. It is so beautiful there. Uh, my mom and I actually went to so many different Harley Davidson shops on our trip. I think I ended up coming back with like 10 or 12 different shirts. I'm starting a collection. And I actually bought a lot of hats on my vacation. I think I bought like eight hats. After we left Ohio, we were heading towards Kansas because my mother wanted to take me to the Wizard of Oz Museum because she's a huge fan. On our way there, my car started making this like, uh, and that's what that clip is in there of the engine is after we had pulled over when I was, when I got off the highway on an exit. It happened to be the exit that we were heading to to go towards the winery in Wamigo. We broke down right next to the sign that said Road to Oz. It's like, oh great. We were just sitting there saying to ourselves like, why can't we just break down in Ohio? We had to wait a while for a tow truck to come and then a nice young man came to help us out. He checked the dipstick and it was completely out of oil. Like, what the fuck? I just got that car not even two months ago, drove it 2,500 miles, it should not be breaking down and especially be out of oil after 2,500 miles. Oh, no, 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 no. So now it's a whole thing with the claims company and the dealership actually told us that we need a whole new engine. This is why we didn't like film much of anything else is because we were just going through so much shit on the way back home. It's really rough being sick right now. Yeah, it's just like one thing after another. Car broke down, now I'm sick. <coughs> Hi! Big changes, big decisions, so many things that I gotta do. And I can't wait to get my car back. I don't know if I'll trust that car again. I know, like, my video is choppy. There are random clips of, like, driving and stuff in there. That's kind of, like, the transition of moving from place to place is to show, like, a small little clip of, like, driving over the water. But... Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the travel video. If you have any questions about anything, um, like where I went, how much things cost, I will say though, if you are planning on going to the Outer Banks or Nags Head or um, anywhere in that area in particular on the beach, plan ahead. Reserve ahead of time. The hotel that we went to was like $120, $120 a night. I think it was called the Islander. It was the cheapest one that we found and we only got that room because there was a cancellation. I shit you not, there were hotel rooms for a one night over $500. Was it come with a, de a new car? I don't mean to sound poor, but I am poor. No, we're gonna call that one place back. We need that room and we got the room. And then they had a pool there that was open 24 <laughs> seven. And um, we're like, well, can we go swimming after hours? And she's like, yeah, just don't drown. Do not travel 4th of July weekend unless you have reservations way in advance. I do not recommend traveling on 4th of July weekends. Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it.
I just want to thank everybody for watching the video. I know it was a little weird the way it was edited and there was not a lot of like fillers of talking. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I look to forward to doing more traveling videos in the future. And if you check out my Instagram, so these are my um, two Instagram accounts. One is specifically just for traveling. I'm not going to have my face in any of those pictures, but I do have my face and other things like that in my um, Gemstone Julie account. So you can check out the pictures there. I took some really beautiful pictures of things. Um, feel free to add me on there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.